So we're just going to give one, this old girl a run. Very quiet, isn't it? Going into a field of wheat with the old girl. So it's probably easier on this to explain how a combine works. Got our little knives just there that go like that. This pulls it in, goes into that, goes up there. And then inside here, there's what, uh, just about here somewhere, it's called a drum, which goes like that and it sort of smashes it all up. And then it goes along here, up there, there's the fan that blows all the, all the stuff out the back. We're gonna do some classic farming. Now we're farming. This is what separates all the corn. So basically, most combines are like this, but this is a lot smaller. Runs lovely. Diesel engine. You wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to do this on a class Lexan, would you? So all it's doing, this is the wheat, and it's crushing it up like that. And if I blow it, that fan we had a look at, if I blow it, you're left with bits of wheat, look. Like that. But that machine's doing it a lot faster. It's no class Lexan, but I, back, I bet back in its day it was, um, it was a game changer. And because I've got my trusty stick, my two pound stick, I can put the camera under here. Hopefully in a minute, we're about to experience another disaster with the unloading auger hitting this tree. Look, he hasn't noticed yet. Disaster is imminent. Oh, he's noticed. That's it, keep coming, keep going. Yes! <laughs> oh, we have averted the disaster. Just across there is the other combine doing a little small field of wheat. Look at that, what a lovely clean grain sample. So, we're driving the classic combine. No cab, no air conditioning. Very easy to use actually, we've got clutch, brake. This one makes it go faster. That slows it down. If I lift it up like that, the bed goes up and down. And then right behind me is a grain tank. And there's the gear stick just there. 
top comes the bed. We're going to turn around. Down we go again. That's all it is, down like that. Oh, could you imagine driving one of these for 12 hours a day? Dusting, or oh, want to go up a little bit. And if, it, and if it start, if the crop starts to get too thick, just pull that back slightly. Exciting times. I've just put it into second gear, and we're going to unload. Big lever here puts it in gear, which I'll show you, and then this is the revs. And then that stops it, that one just there. Then this lever here puts the reel up and down. So very, very simple. So push this. Go on. Starting to run. And off we go. Got a bit of a squeak. Oh no, I missed a bit. going up there, up there, then it's being smashed about by the drum, and then along there to them uh, sieves, they're like a bit of a screener, and then that fan there is blowing all the chaff out the back, separating it all. You see there like that. by Power Farming Stamford. There we are. So nice there, they go backwards and forwards, cut it, and it goes up there. 
and then it gets thrashed inside of there and then shaked all about and then comes out the back as straw. So it, all it does is separates it. So that machine, what we've seen just there, is not much different to what the real big ones are. So the principle's still the same, apart from the new ones have got cabs and air conditioning. And But how it works, roughly the same, just obviously the new ones are a lot more modern.